What's up, Jamie? Hey, Brett, what's going on? Everybody liked your idea. I steal all your ideas and I just, so uh, I'm not gonna take credit for this one, but this exit stage left is just genius. We're all flipping on it last week. So we got to yeah. bring you on for some commentary this week. It's a lot of fun stuff. Just uh, that Vince Neil thing just triggered me into thinking and looking for those. I went on a little rat hole last week on it. It's fun. It's almost, it's almost like it was a gateway drug, right? It was a gateway. It was a gateway. <laughs> stage say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. First hits free. So, so what we're going to do, I got four. We're going to comment on them. Then we're going to have everybody vote on the best, but you're here. So you got, you got to take the ride with me. We've okay. Taken, we've taken many BMX rides together. Now we can take an exit stage left vibe together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm down. Let's, Let's hit it, man. All right. Let's hit it. All right. So video one. That's what well, let's do it. DJ Brett, get it together. All right. Let's start with let's start with Steven Tyler. Right, here we go. Here we go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Right, here we go. Walk into the edge. Hands hey, up. Hands up. The dance. The right side of the room. The dance. Is there a beer on the stage? Whoa! Bulls! Oh. oh, that was a good one. That was definitely a hit. That was a good one, right? Yeah, that was like back, hip. That was painful. That was painful. That was painful. Okay. All right. You ready for number two? Yes. That was number two. Okay. Let's get number two. Number two. Let's go with Axel when they were opening for the Stones in 89 in LA. We remember this day. Yeah. It's it's like a bomb day. going off in LA. Okay. Okay. Now he, he stays on stage, but let's watch this. Can you see it? Good size? Yeah, it's a little, it's a small thumbnail, but I don't see it. Let's do that one one more time because that that's a that's a real quick one, okay? Yeah, he possibly could have landed on his feet, probably no. bumped you his think? feet and then hit the ground, right? No, I don't think so. I disagree. Watch again. Watch again. Watch again. He's down. Did it hurt? Absolutely. But it was a jump forward. He could have went, landed ankle wrong, hit the knee. Fucking took. I, I was building this up into like he was Superman getting up out of the ashes. But I think you're right. Upon upon watching, I'm it. not saying it didn't hurt, hurt and it you wasn't hurt. shocking. Think of the chaos at that point in the GNR days. So like falling off stage, walking into a bus, uh, anything, getting in a fight in the lobby. It kind of barred for the course. I'm pretty sure at those days with Guns N' Roses, there was physical impact three to four times a day. This is true. This is true. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, well put. Well put. We got two more to go. <clears throat> All right. Let's go. Brett Michaels. Oh. Music awards. This is going to come in loud. This comes in loud. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's. All right. We got the volume. Let's, let's get it this big. Here we go. <laughs> Now, this is the height, right? Yes, this is the height. No, this isn't. This is recent. Oh, oh. oh, let's watch that again. Let's watch that again. That one, that one really hurt. No, that did like brain damage. This was when Rock of Ages came out, so I think, or, or something. So. Oh, okay. So that was like early 2000. There's different levels of confusion with that type of trauma. I mean, there's there's like, oh, I'm going down, huh, bam, Axel scatters. But that was just like, you know, his his visor was right there. 
he didn't know what the hell happened, right? <laughs> it was just confusion, and it, like, knocked him back. It was like a, a cannonball just hit him, <laughs> and he didn't know what was going on. It probably took a yeah, minute. Most to, of my relationships, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it took minutes to even realize what was going on, where people were in his face. I mean, that was a good hit. And you're still trying to look cool. He knows he's the focal point of the entire arena at that point. When you're going off side stage, you know, maybe a few people within your circumference are seeing you. But right there, he was like, everybody's watching me right National now. National TV was the opening of awards show. I've got to stand up gracefully. Is there blood? Blood looks cool if you're in a rock band, but, you know. <laughs> All right. Last one. Now, this one's interesting to me, Jamie, because this is where a guy's supposed to fall, but doesn't. This was like last week. It was it was actually on my birthday, October 11th. This happens. Gene Simmons is supposed to fall, but he doesn't. I want to know your thoughts on this. So this Maybe he had wires. Watch this. No, just hand. And what you notice is people say Gene Simmons doesn't play. Notice how when he doesn't play, the bass goes out. I thought that was interesting, too. Yeah. Okay this focus on Gene the way he likes it yeah look at that he knows roots he's not any tweakers he grabs yeah, talking about grabs. 20 15 20 inches I need a little more energy for them. Okay. All right, all right. Wait, all right. did it happen? You didn't see that? I didn't see it. This whole thing went like this. Oh. Let's go again. Let's go again. One more time for the I kids. thought you said he was going to fall. No, I said he doesn't fall, dude. Oh, my God. That is like a freaking... His whole platform shifts and he does Oh not my God, it. senior citizen problems. All right, so just watch this, watch. Think on, think on, think on, think on. In no shoes that are hard to stand on. Yeah, I do. All the no shoes, they have yeah, to not tell me anything. Okay. But Larry's strapped to a rack. No, he's not, he's not strapped in. Gotta grab that, hold on. I don't know. I think you're scared about that if you're over 50. See, he's coming down. Yeah. He's coming down. And he, it goes like this. And then it just sort of tilts backwards. Now, he's got the weight of the rack in the back. And he's kind of okay. And then he just turns around and looks at it. He walked away. It was a good day. Man. Not giving the sim. I, I, I give it to him. I like his mom was worried about it when she saw it, but like I, I'm um, oh, always a good, 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 good kid to Simmons. Right? I've flown down the stairs of my platforms back in the pretty ugly days, and like so, twisted so you the think ankle. Your platforms are as hard to walk in. They were like this, in. man. Yeah, well, Gene Simmons are like this, buddy. All right, but there's like a lot of support there. Like, like not like my relationships. Um, so why don't you? Do the opening vote for which of those exit stage lefts so you, you, you're going to vote for the number one this week. The number one worst one, biggest Ufa. I, yeah. I think it was Brent Michaels. You got I mean, that was just team. like unconsciousness, shock. Like I never saw any after show pictures. Is, is that out there on the webs? No, it was a big deal. It was a big deal. Was, should there be? He didn't want to sue. He did want to sue. It was a big deal at the time. But so we can't see um, the pictures online of no, him. No, I think there was brain stuff and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think. Oh, was, yeah. That's not funny. Definitely not. But all right. But um, yeah, that was the most. Tyler's hurt pretty bad. Axel's hurt, but you know he was in shape then. Yeah. I I was just watching Axel pop off the stage and fight security guards a little bit. Yeah. What do you think about that? I love it. I love it. Never knew it was going to happen. I like when he got, well, we got to do next week an interpreter when he calls an interpreter, his interpreter. For yeah. That was a good one. So I have right. two thoughts real quick. I have two thoughts on Axel jumping off and fighting security guards. Yeah. He's a badass and fearless, but also think about if you're that poor security guard getting an hourly rage 
in the focal point, an entire arena is in your face screaming and throwing blows. Now you're you're probably gonna defend yourself a little, maybe block, but you, you just know I can't lay into this guy. I mean, if I lay into him, everybody in here is gonna kill me. I'm yes, gonna get yes. sued. So like I basically leave bits right now. <laughs> yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. Damn. So even though Axel was badass, it, it, it probably elevated him to thinking he was a little tougher than he was when he's swinging at somebody that's about 250 pounds and about 10 inches taller than This is genius. Yeah. This is where we get into the psyche of Axel Rose. I love it, Jamie. Yeah. I love it. And um, so next week, we're going to start doing some battles. We're going to bring the Danny Faster Pussycat video in against the winner of this week. We're going okay. to start doing some battles. So okay. we're going to battle a few weeks and see who is the ultimate exit stage left. Your idea. Jamie, thank you for your time. Buddy. Okay. Have a great time, Britt. Okay. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody.